What up, what up, what up, what up, GTAs? All right, so I know you've seen my first video about this, about how to escape from a bad sport. And you're probably wondering, well, you're not even in fucking bad sport. Okay, three days ago, I got busted for, I've, I've had max time for the longest times, two years, nine months, uh, 18, 19 days, I think. So today, it was not down. And I, I think I only had like 14 days. I've been spent four, about three to four days in here and worked my way out. And I'm going to show you how. So when you go into bad sport, you'll get a dunce cap and they will tell you that you're bad sported. Now, if you can get your friends to come in, clean players before you leave the lobby, get them to come to you, go down to players, tell them to find your name and commend you. See, you can commend people when you're clean. When you're dirty, you can't get commended. Okay. And what you do is you get them to commend you as many times as possible. Each person can commend you up to 10 times. You can have your friends continuously do this until you are a clean player. Now, on your list, it'll go from just straight bad sport to clean. Okay. But for them, for the other people who can see your name and your player status underneath, it'll go from bad to dodgy. To clean okay and what you want to do is just in case because this is known to happen if you get clean when you get clean force a save and you force a save by changing your style anything change an outfit right and then wait and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a little circle pop up okay but this has been known to still not work okay I've seen I've done this myself plenty of times and that didn't actually make the change so what you do after you make the change is you just run and make a change to a car. Change the rims, change the color, something insignificant, inexpensive, and just make a change. Make something save to the game so that it remembers that you are clean. Now, I'll show you. Right now, I still have not left the bad sport lobby. Even though I was given two years, I have already escaped, and I'm fixing to explain how. Okay, so, players. Okay, there's me. I'm already clean. This is my friend. Came to kill me. He came to kill you. She's already clean. Everyone else, this is a bad sport lobby. Now, there are multiple ways to escape. They are going to take some time. There is no quick fix to actually getting out of bad sport lobbies faster. Oh good, I'm glad that's working. So there's no quick fix to getting out of bad sport lobbies fast. If you accidentally, if, you, if your friends don't make it to your lobby in time, or if you say you think you're clean and you go do a job, and then after the job, it's gonna launch you if it, if it puts you back to being a dodgy, or a, a a bad sport player and you're in a in a job while it happens once that job is over which is exactly what happened to me once that job is over it'll send you a bad sport so what we did and uh, let me explain it a different way first okay you have positive job points the same as you have bad sport points okay bad sport points are accumulated by leaving jobs early blowing up or grieving other players cars and yeah, mostly that, mostly just blowing up other people's cars and leaving jobs too soon. Those are the biggest things. Killing people, not so much. doesn't matter if you kill people or not. They don't, they don't care. That's just your KD ratio. Okay. So that's not a factor in this. It's mostly about property damage and exiting out of jobs fast, mostly missions, not, not deathmatch or adversary stuff. They won't care about that stuff. But if you leave a mission early, then they'll consider that a bad thing. Oh, and getting kicked, getting kicked is the third thing. Getting kicked from a lobby takes up a lot of bad sport points. So if people actually vote you out and force you out of it you get a lot of points for that okay so to reverse this either before it happens or after either doesn't matter it just because it's usually you're not going to do it until you've already been bad sported because you won't notice until then there's not like a meter anywhere that shows to what level good or bad you are okay um when it says dodgy that means you're getting close to that bad sport spot so you always want to be mindful of that now <clears throat> In order to get out of it, you can do simple things, things to generate positive JP or positive uh, player points, which is like doing uh, uh, resupplies, any kind of mission in your nightclub, CEO or MC, doing any kind of resupplies, selling things or anything within the map that creates JP. Those are positive points. Go do a race by yourself. Those generate positive points. A survival by yourself. Now, grant you, doing anything from within the bad sport lobby, it's going to be hard to find other players because there are not many other people in here. These lobbies 
Whereas in regular GTA, there are always tons and tons of lobbies and tons and tons of people playing. But the bad sport lobbies are a very small pool. And there are normally only about three to four lobbies of bad sport players because there's not that many of them in the world. So they collectively, we only take up about three or four servers. So with that being said, if you run resupplies, if you run missions, you do something to generate RP and JP for yourself, those are working towards positive points. And it, what you, if you can find random players throughout the map as you as you pop in, let's say you do a mission, you'll leave from the lobby that you're in, you'll go do the mission, you'll pop back into a lobby when you're done. If you can comb through, see like this guy, this guy's a random, big nasty, no idea who that guy is, but he's clean. If you can get him to commend you, the more commends from clean players that you get, the quicker you'll get out. And that's exactly how... I wound up getting out early. So what we did was we planted a person. We created a new character, okay, and had a friend of mine host it on their account who has, of course, they have PlayStation Plus and they have the game downloaded on their system or the disc, either or, it doesn't matter. And they create a new account and then we just get them into bad sport. Now, grant you from a new character, it can take a while. It can take up to two to two and a half hours to actually get a brand new player into the bad sport lobby. But once they are here, they have a set amount of time, be it that it's their first time, they're only going to have about two days. So what you have to do is time what time they go into bad sport, precisely two days from that moment is when they will get out. So what you want to do is on the time and date that they are planned or scheduled to get out, you want to go ahead and make sure that you are in the same lobby as them ahead of time. Now, we'll tell you that you don't have to stay in that lobby with them all night. For example, my friend that did it for me last night, she was already clean before I went to bed, but I watch TV at night. So before I left last night, I exited her lobby and then came back to her. You can still, she, she still hasn't even changed her outfit. She's still wearing the dumpster cat. Uh, I left her lobby, and then, but because she's still in the, the bad sport lobbies, I was able to come back to her because I'm still bad sport. Even though she isn't, she is still in this lobby. So I was able to come back to her. So she plugged her controller up, slapped a rubber band on her analog sticks, and just had her character go in circles all night. And then this morning, first thing, I hopped back on. I got in to her lobby, and she had begun commending me. And as you can see, I'm already clean. So I just beat two years, nine months, and 14 days in three days, two days. Two and a half days, something like that. I think it was three days because it was the next day after that we realized there was a shorter way. We had put another character in, but that character had eight days. We realized there's going to be some people traveling in those times and we would have trouble with that. So we found a quicker way. So those are my tips. Do what you can to create or to generate positive RP, JP points. These things go toward good player things. Uh, if you have to, as an absolute last resort, plant another brand new character in there and get them to get you out now for people who because i'm getting a lot of these messages the other video that i put up it wasn't complete like this one it didn't fully explain everything like the way i did here but i'm considering opening up a like a bail bondsman for bad sports where if I, i'm thinking about opening up a community so that the the people that do wind up in bad sport and the people that do get clean can help one another out of it. And the more of us there are, the more of us can bail one another out, even if we're stuck here. Like I said, I just beat two years and nine months and 14 days in about three days. So this is very much proof that it can be done. Um, I'll probably re-edit this video a little bit later and tack on the moment where I actually landed in it and it'll have the the stamps you'll see me you know wearing these boots and stuff this is my latest outfit so this you can tell those boots are from the arena wars so that's how you can tell that this is a, a newer video okay so it is totally possible but uh last thing before i fucking leave just to make sure that this thing saves i'm gonna hop into this car right here i'm gonna take the car and i'm gonna make one change one change it won't matter what it is so let's see the let's go the tires give me the wheels Give me wheel color. And let's just change this red to blazing red. Cost me $1,300. Boom. Done. Okay. And then back out. And let's just exit the workshop. Pop out of this. And just to make sure that it, I get that little screen. Style. 
Let's go to my birthday suit. I'm going to wait for the little circle. All right. Now, again, I have not left the bad sport log yet. Style. I'm going to go back to my biker outfit. I like my biker outfit. It's the one I generally do everything in. Wait for the little circle again. Come on, little circle. One more time. I'll go to another damn outfit if I got there. Here we go. Let's go Mad Max. I like Mad Max. He's an old one, but I still love it. Give it just a second. Why am I not seeing the loading circle? There it is. Okay. Now before I leave, I'm going to let my friend know what I'm doing. Just in case I wind up in another bad sport. Because if I do wind up in another bad sport and she's still in here, all I'll have to do is come straight back to this lobby. So... Okay, so we saved, got the dunce cap off. Now let's try another lobby. Find new session. Now, I'll show you again. I am still in the bad sport lobby. Players. See, bad, 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 bad. There's like three clean people in this whole thing because we are all still in the bad sport lobby. So, find new session. Now after this, it should say, I've been forgiven, da 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 da, da. I, I've hit the cap for, so if anybody, if you ever ran into, run into anybody that says, oh, I'm doing like three years in bad sport, or ten years, five years, any of that, it's all bullshit. They are fucking lying to you. Bad sport caps off at two years, nine months, and I believe 19 days, maybe 17 days, something like that. So it's between 19 and 17 days. <coughs> it might be 18 and then once you actually make it over, it's like counting off the minutes. So it'll say, you know, two years, nine months, and 17 days, X amount of hours, and minutes, and so on. So let's see. Did it actually clean me up? Landing in the lobby. Let's see, if you're a good sport, you'll receive periodic rewards. Let's see what I look like. Players, clean, 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 clean. Okay, look at that, I'm out. I am out. So there's proof of escaping. I wish I could have got, like I said, I'll post a video later of when I actually got put in bad sport because I'm fucking stupid. I can't believe, like, the whole way I got in there was I was trying to help somebody else get out of there. And I managed to accumulate some bad sport points while I was there. So, and then I forgot about myself. I got myself clean, but I didn't get myself clean enough. I had forgotten to make a change to a car and then go to another lobby and check and make sure that it had worked. So, since I forgot to do that, it was totally my own fault that I was there. But out of two years, nine months, and 18 days, I only did about three. So, there's proof that you can escape. You just got to be vigilant. You got to stay on it. It's not going to be easy if you actually land in those lobbies. So there is no quick fix to that. But I've shared with you everything I know. I hope this helps you out. If not, feel free to make comments, post questions, whatever. I'll do everything I can to help you out. And if I get enough comments and stuff and I get enough people watching this video and generated about it, I'll put together a PlayStation community. I don't have an Xbox. I don't. I'm just not going to do it there, but I'll put together a community over the PlayStation 4 network and open up one. If I get enough people commenting who, who need help or want help, I'll start a community so that we can and, and help people show them how to help one another. So that way we can, as a community, we can all stay out of bad sport together. And this keeps good players. And I don't mean clean players. I mean, people that, you know, are good with the fucking headshots, man. People that, you know, like to get out here and cause mayhem and make some kills. Decent fucking players keep us in these regular maps and keep these shitty fucking hats off of our costumes. 
I hope this helped you guys out, man. Till next time, man. If you're kicking around in GTA, yo, keep those guns up. Later.